uh, <laughs> uh, if you watch the video, you'll see what we're doing, but I don't know if we're going to post this one. <laughs> there might be a February gap. Reminds me of Pulp Fiction. Warning. That's right. That's right. Yes, yes. You could go into seizures or excessive vomiting. Not suitable for all audiences. That's right. <laughs> Only investors in real estate. All right. I'm Paul Jamison, your host. Welcome for joining the show, Your Real Estate Today. I'm here with Sandy Dickinson with Cross Country Mortgage. You know, we're talking about how to lower your payment. We're talking about how to lower your payment on your mortgage or on a mortgage. And then we're going to talk about, um, if I can find it, we're going to talk about salaries and some data. Everybody loves data. Okay. Data night. All right. Um, you know, we talked about filing your taxes on time before the break, but you also got to pay your rent and your mortgage when it's due, even if your house is sold and you are moving out. A last minute late payment could change everything, including your credit score. And your qualification. I, yeah. I've heard that falter before where they go, well, I'm getting ready to sell and they miss that payment cycle. Yes. Ooh. And it's a problem and it's it could jeopardize the entire deal. Yes, I call we it. We don't a, like late mortgage payments. <laughs> you don't? No, or late rent payments. Both of those. Like if you're late on your housing expense, a mortgage company looks at that very seriously. And something that recent, regardless of the reason, that could they would probably make us re pull a credit report and run it through the system and it could easily decline the whole loan. So wow. always continue to make your payments. Right. You know, I call it a Melborp. You know what a, a Melborp is? A Melborp no. is? <laughs> no. Do you know what a Melborp is? No. Melborp is problem spelled backwards. Yes. <laughs> Just so you know. I got you something today. Melborp. Yeah. <laughs> the Melborp. <laughs> <laughs> yes, could be a big, nasty Melborp. All right. All right. Last, don't delay the process. Don't try and time the market. You could get stuck. When it's good, take the lock. Don't gamble. You can refi later. But don't delay the process. Get the documents with enough time for the underwriter to look at them, get their questions in, and get those cleared. Nothing worse than sitting there the night before closing without a clear to close. Drives me insane. Yes, and it gives me hives. <laughs> so get the documents in, that's for sure. We're going to ask for them probably a bunch of times. So just keep sending them over. Okay. All right. I'm going to do a lightning round. Are you ready? Okay, we do got it. a lightning round. We got four things in our lightning round. Are you ready? Okay. Here we go. Why is it important to be pre-approved before you look? Because you're going to find something you love. And if you're not pre-approved and you have to wait on me, then you might miss out on your favorite house. Ooh, dang. <laughs> that was good. Yeah. 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 She struck lightning. All right. Next. Why do realtors care who the lender is on a deal? Because 65% of people have a bad mortgage experience. And if they have one, their lender, their realtor's having one too. You want someone that you can trust to close you on time and to close you fairly smooth. She's two for two. Easy. <laughs> okay. Uh, we'll see if the lightning doesn't strike twice here. All right, ready? <laughs> Number three. What makes the process go more smoothly? Constant communication and fast action on your action items. So if we ask for something, we need it super fast. Don't try to hide anything. Um, and, you know, a lot of times people give us a hard time about getting stuff. Um, we're not going to back down on that. We're going to have to have that documentation. Yeah. So you might as well roll yeah. over and give it to us. up a sign over here. He's like, yeah, <laughs> she's three for three. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Take a deep breath, Booge, because here it goes. Okay. This could be the gotcha that sent her. No, nah, I won't. All right, ready? Lightning ready. round number four. Why are lenders going out of business right now? 
they're going out of business because they don't know how to watch their P&L and because they're trying to do loans for nothing, thinking that that's going to bring them the business. And they then they have to go to go to their staff and then they can't afford to stay in business. And um, anyway, it's it's a vicious cycle. So watch anything that's too good to be true, because they may not be around to finish it up. <laughs> you know what? I give you an A plus plus. You took the oh, lightning thanks. round and did a great job. Thank you. Good job. All right. There you go. All right. So a study shows in 2023, salaries will increase by TJ. Oh. Come on, give it a guess. Uh, what percent? Oh, I don't know. Four uh, percent. Very close. 4.6% oh, in 2023. The main causes for that are high inflation and the tightening labor market. 75% of companies are struggling to attract new talent. And 70% of companies spent more on budgets in the last 12 months than they planned. Well, I'm one of that 70%. <laughs> That's oh, for yeah. Sure. yeah, seriously. Oh, sure, you know? Yeah, all those, you know, um, Christmas ornaments and stuff. All right, so... Here we go. TJ, since Sandy has it right in front of her, she'd be cheating. <laughs> How many job openings are in our country right now? Oh, wow. Oh, man. I don't even know where to begin. Just give it a give it a wild uh, guess. It's a big honking number. Yeah, it was 200,000. I don't know. Job openings? Yeah. Guess a number with an M. Oh, wow. A million. A million jobs? 10 million 10 million job jobs. openings and actually 9 million 998,998 of them are with other companies besides mine what <laughs> i have two job openings <laughs> <laughs> all right this is the other thing that'll get you this will this will this will make you stand up and go hooty hoo Okay. By the way, who used to say hootie hoo? I don't know. Famous Who'd childhood you... show. Hootie hoo. That was it. How they'd call each other. Hootie hoo. Hootie hoo. Give you give you a hint. It's a show that kind of was based out uh, in in a in a town not far from Raleigh, North Carolina. Mayberry. That's it. So Mayberry what show? RFD? So yeah, the Andy <laughs> Griffith show. Remember. Oh, who do you? Who do you? Interviewing. We were shocked to find out that ninety-five percent of the applicants we interviewed and set appointments for did what of the two things you would think that ninety-five percent of them did these two things. Are these positive things or negative things? I'm not telling oh, you. Oh man. Uh skip the interview is going to be one of them. okay what's your other uh ooh, forgot to bring a resume uh, that's pretty too very good sandy 95 percent of the people we interviewed for job openings did what two behaviors didn't show up okay. or showed up late okay ooh. and didn't do any research on the company sandy is 100 percent correct oh, they either wow. did not show up or they had done absolutely no research on the company. Wow. Here's a job I'll, I'll apply. That's <laughs> basically, they had no idea really what we did. Nothing about our company. Nothing about the job. <laughs> they just came. I, if they I had a couple. I'm like, what's your what? What do you want to? Where do you want to be in five years? Well, I really want to be a dental assistant, or and I'm like, like, okay, you're applying well, for, a mortgage for a mortgage position. Mortgage. <laughs> yeah, and that's not even the field you want to be in. <laughs> yeah. All right, so um, Sandy, if somebody wants a mortgage, how do they get in touch with you? They call my mobile phone seven zero four five seven seven zero one four four. 704-577-0144, Sandy Dickinson, Cross Country Mortgage. If you want to buy real estate, you want to sell your home, buy a home, invest in real estate, or you need someone to manage your property, call us at 
846 done. That's 846 3663. You're on the web at myjamisonhomes.com. So if I remember next week, I'm going to tell you all how to invest in real estate by using chicken. Oh, so hope you're around for that one. That should be a good one. How to invest in real estate by using chicken. To show your real estate today, we'll talk to you next time. God bless. Take care. Happy Saturday on News Talk 1110, 99.3 99 WBT. <laughs>